What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today is the first day of my deload week. As you guys could probably tell, I didn't upload the last two days. The reason being is I found out the reason why I've been so freaking fatigued. And it wasn't just because of the hypertrophy cycle. That's starting around week two and definitely week three, I was just really fatigued. And I thought it was because of the training. And then uh, like in the middle of last week, if you guys remember, my ribs were like hurting me and bothering me. And then the rib soreness actually went away. And during a couple of my lifts, I could feel my lungs hurting. And it turned out that I've been sick this whole time, right? So like last three days, I started just, it became a lot of congestion, sneezing. When I cough, my lungs would start hurting and stuff. And then I uh, went to the doctor and yeah, it turned out that I had a, a lung infection. I've just been training through it and I'm still gonna train through it. This is not recommended and uh, you know, every doctor will tell you not to do this, but I always train through sickness. I remember when I had COVID in 2020, I still trained through it. Anytime I've ever had the flu, trained through it. Um, and it probably extends how long I'm sick for, but I'm able to maintain my strength uh, throughout all that time. And w whatever it is that I've been doing, it's been working, right? I've been jumping higher every single year. So um, yeah, I'm going to keep training through it. I think I'm turning a corner. These last two days, it kind of timed up perfect because it was deload week. So I just took Saturday and Sunday completely off. I just came off of training two really hard days, did two sessions in a row. So I figured it was kind of perfect time. Uh, and then I was also watching uh, my daughter this whole weekend. So it was kind of perfect. Uh, just took it completely off and I do feel better. I'm still pretty stuffy. My lungs hurt a little bit still, but... Uh, yeah, I'm hopefully turning the corner with this sickness and hopefully it'll time well with uh, this deload and jumping high on Friday. But as far as the training, um, we are going to be deloading. If you don't know what a deload week, it is a period of time where you basically back off of the training load to, in order to give your body time to recover. And ideally, you super compensate. Super, super compensate is when you recover and you have elevated levels of fitness. And that is kind of where all the training manifests, manifests itself into performance. Uh, during this cycle, it is not uh, expected to PR your vertical by any means. Um, but what, where we want to see performance increases, basically, you want to see you jump higher compared to the baseline of week one, two, and three of the cycle. Um, and then you, you wanna see your strength levels kinda go up. Hopefully hypertrophy has occurred. Um, it's not gonna be a huge difference for someone that's as highly trained as I am. I have a high training age. So we're probably not gonna see an insane difference in strength levels and hypertrophy, but uh, we do wanna just see a, just the overall recovery. And you can kind of tell, you, you want to be able to tell with like bot, the athletes, athletes body language and that type of thing that they are recovered. Um, and the, the way we usually treat deload weeks is we keep intensity high and then we cut volume. Volume is usually what destroys guys in the weight room um, and just destroys the, their jump performance. So we want to cut volume. And the reason we keep intensity high, which a lot of coaches actually don't keep intensity high uh, when they deload, is intensity is a huge driver of strength. So if we keep intensity high, we're gonna maintain strength levels and we're also gonna maintain those neuromuscular adaptations. High intensity lifts, it really just wires your nervous system and there is some evidence to show that keeping intensity high uh, keeps performance high when, uh, with those elastic activities. Uh, I actually heard about a, uh, a coach that has their athletes ma max their bench press. Yeah, I think it was a sprints coach. He has them max their bench press uh, the week of big competitions because uh, it, it keeps them really wired, but it doesn't fatigue those specific muscle groups that they're going to be using during the sprints, um, which is really, really interesting. But as far as the deload week, since we have been training with really high rep ranges, right? We've been doing, I believe last week was six by 10 on the squats. We're gonna slash that volume in half. So we're gonna do three by five on the squats today. And sets of five, which is pretty interesting, is sets of five are usually pretty 
high rep ranges, but because we're in a hypertrophy cycle, we're going from really high rep ranges to just still high, but lower relative to the work that we've been doing. Um, and then I believe the clean pulls are three by two. Uh, we were doing sets of two this whole cycle. So intensity, I mean, volume was already pretty low as far as like intraset uh, volume. So you can't really, I mean, the other option would be doing singles, but we want to keep a little bit of volume in there. If I feel good, I do want to test my power clean. I'm not expecting anything crazy because again, I, I'm still sick. Uh, but I usually like testing um, after a cycle of doing a lot of heavy pulls off the floor because that usually correlates to my power clean performance more than actual cycles where I do power clean. Um, so, and then we're taking a lot of the accessory work out of, out of the training as well. Um, and then the general days are gonna be super easy, probably gonna take Thursday general day completely off. Sometimes what we do is we take the Tuesday, Thursday general days completely out. Um, and that's one of the benefits of doing general work. Um, but that's kind of an overview of what the week is gonna look like. Um, I'll catch you guys in the weight room. All right, y'all. I built up to my last two sets. This is literally the healthiest I have felt in like, I don't even remember. Honestly, probably in like a year, healthiest I felt. Uh, my PFP, this is the first lift that it has not bothered me a single bit this entire cycle. Uh, and yeah, overall, I've been doing bigger jumps here just so I could uh, not have as much volume. Because remember, the whole point is to cut the volume during this deload. So making some quick jumps. This is my second to last set. Supposed to work up to 350 uh, for a set of five. First, I'll do 315. <clears throat> All right, pretty good. So next set's gonna be 350. Whew. It's insane going from, you know, week three of loading on the hypertrophy cycle, how much volume it is to going to this deload week. Uh, it's my favorite, it's my favorite period of time is deloads because it's so much easier, even in the warmups, way easier. All right. All right. Last set of squats. I feel wonderful. You know, one thing about me too is I hate higher rep work, even when it's not that difficult. Like I feel like it just destroys me so much more than uh, lifting with high intensity. Like if you compare my fatigue levels when I'm doing volume work versus intensity, high intensity work, like I'll usually be able to at least jump decently <laughs> on a, uh, when I'm doing a high intensity work. I can handle it a lot, a lot better. <clears throat> All right, last set. Try to push intent a little bit here. <clears throat> Feel the weight difference for sure. for squats. Whew. All right, y'all, so I'm supposed to do clean pull. Depending on how the weights move, I'll uh, attempt to do a power clean max. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna probably show all the working sets of these because they're pretty exciting to look at. You're up. Um, 
I usually don't know how I'm going to clean until I'm around 225. First couple weights, when I'm going lighter, I actually like to do kind of a lower catch so I can warm up the catch. But yeah, we'll see how 225 moves. And then Austin, I think he's going to just do clean pulls today. Cause it's, How's that feel? Fine. Okay. Try with a catch now. It's good? Yeah. Moves really. I would do, uh, do one more just to warm up the knee and then do a slow squat, like a slow. That'll help with the warm up. The question is, do we, is how fast are we going to progress? And then go slow. And then like pause where it hurts. And I just, yeah, it feels good. Front squats feel way better on my back yeah. than back squats. All right, the question is, what do I go up to now? Could go to straight to two. How am I lightheaded? 225. Why am I always lightheaded? All right, I'm going to do bigger jumps so that the overall volume is lower. Oh, I just realized I could just hook this up. Right. Let's move this behind me. All right, clean pull first. No to catch. Actually, I'm gonna chalk up, and I'm gonna chalk up, because this is where. If I catch this standing straight up and down, like 225 is my weight. If I can catch it straight up and down, I know I can power clean close to 300. Can I do this for a single? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Oh, my God. I'm feeling strong. You ready? Yes, I'm feeling, yeah, I'm feeling, it's feeling spicy today. How much weight do you want? That. All right. You gonna talk up? Yup. All right. You just got me hyped, but I'm gonna talk up without that. Bro, that point. moved yeah. crazy. Like, I think, I think I have 300 plus in the cards today. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, bro, power cleans is going to be nowhere close to the volume we were doing. Yeah. The only time, like, I get in trouble with power cleans is if I keep failing at the same weight. I keep trying it over and over. Like, come on. Rip that. Come on. Wow. <laughs> How did it feel? Bro, that moved nice. Yeah. Shoot, should I go 275? How good are we talking it looked like off the floor, bro. It was crazy fast. Did you want to go slower? No, it was perfect. I'm just saying it just looked light, like off the ground. Just, uh, I think that was the lightest 245. That was 25? Yeah. All right, I'm trying 275. Fucking crazy. <laughs> Fuck, I should have my headphones so I can listen to pure cocaine on them. You got me with that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got you, bro. Sorry. <laughs> All right, last Wednesday, I hit this for a double when I was destroyed. So this needs to be like a freaking paperweight right now. Or else I'll have, have brought dishonor to my family. Definitely have been a little slower. Still not too late. 
to do slower warm up. Uh, what do you know you can hit right now? Like guaranteed. I will go. Let's go two, four, five. Put, put a ten on there. happens here. <laughs> it's crazy. I feel like not being as sick. Huge ass difference. I was like loading extra. Yeah. Like the volume and being sick. Being sick volume. Being sick volume? Yeah. <laughs> You had it high enough. I just like, I don't know what happened with the grit. It was like something like, uh, I just didn't want to do that. It was weird. This is 245? Yeah. That's so weird. What the fuck? That's normally easy for me. I can normally do that for like two. Yeah. Damn. I think it's something about warmth, bro. You think I'm just not warm? Yeah. Dude, I don't, I don't feel warm either. It's okay. I'm just. Warming up. All right. So this is where I truly know. How much is that? Two ninety-five. Oh, <laughs> so many plates. Okay, I'm actually kind of scared now. This is easy. I've been doing pulls off the ground with three forty. This needs to be easy. Pussied out on the catch. <laughs> Bro, I literally pussied out on the catch. Bro, I that was so high, I just didn't try on the catch. Yeah, I just, here, let me, I'm going again. Okay. We're going back to back, because that was, that was unacceptable. I just got to not pussy out on the pad, bro. Because I'm used to my knee hurting. So I'm like... Yeah. 
You're getting under it? Yeah. I'll just do clean pool. There's no point. Okay. For skin. Listen to your body. Is this the weight you were clean pulling at? What is this? 295? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect, man. Yeah, no, it actually works out nicely. I do feel weaker today, bro. Really? I'm not going back here. Nice. Weaker. I don't know if it's a warm up thing or I'm still fatigued or what. How was the workout on Wednesday crazy, though? Um, Remember Wednesday? How amped you were? I don't know. I I, I, it could have just been mindset, too. Yeah. That also could have been like the last of my tank. Yeah. And then I destroyed it. Like I literally just been sleeping all weekend and shit. All right, I'm gonna try. Uh, let's go red, red, green. Here. It's moving so far this way. All right, y'all, I'm going to try 315, which would be a PR match. I don't think I'm going to get it, but I'm going to try anyways. There is a chance I could get it, but. Uh, right here. Oh, I got to sneeze. Oh, no. Sneeze into the shot. 295 is a sick PR. Like, as in, I'm sick. <laughs> All right, should be a good spot right here. Huh? All right, just have to commit, not be scared. Wish me luck, everybody. Am I in the shot, Andre? Yeah. Camera, it, it looks so low that I'm like, what the hell? some extra weight and reach off up. <laughs> I have like four videos of the setup. I'm scared, bro. You got this shit. Let's go! Explosive, come on. See what this looked like. I actually could have got it. She didn't want to get under it. Oh yeah, I pulled the hell out of that. Just didn't get under it at all. Why did I moan like that? Ah, I see why I'm scared of the catch. Cause catching deep would kill my meniscus. So I'm like guarding. All right, good to know. My pull got way stronger though. My pull off the floor got way stronger. I wonder if the field could look actually like, is that a big deal for me? Cool. I mean, that's a huge deal for me, bro. It's just. I feel like shit today. Like, I don't feel like good. Like, I don't feel bad. I don't, like, well, okay, I feel like weak. I just feel weak. Yeah. Like, not energized and weak. All right. 
going to do one more clean pull just to get the volume in. On to the calf raises. You know what? Those are eyelashes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know that's my biggest freak out? Really? Yeah. You know what these are eyelashes places? Because I never know what it is. It like, if I'm in my bathroom, I just see eyelashes. I'm like, I don't know what it is. It freaks me out so much. <sighs> All right. So we're just finishing the workout with... Three sets of five of seated calf raise. Uh, I feel good. The whole point of these, this workout is to leave it feeling um, fresh, feel strong, feel like I'll be able to maintain my strength pretty well throughout this week. And I'm expecting a crazy jump day on Friday. Um, like I was saying earlier in the video, I never expect to have a PR vertical day after hypertrophy cycle, but I do expect to to jump well when compared to my baseline level. One, two, three, four. Ah. All right. I don't think I'm going to show the last set, but like always, everybody, if you want to get coached by us to jump higher, get rid of knee pain. Uh, coach volleyball players, basketball players, every, every, every sport that exists out there. Uh, and especially dunkers. If you want to jump higher to dunk, it's my favorite, favorite athlete to coach. If that's you, go to thbstrength.com and we'll increase your vertical. Guaranteed at least three inches in six months or I'll coach you for free. Like the video and I will catch you guys tomorrow.